Hey, how's it going? And today I am going to show you how to end your game with verse code. And you know, the end is as important as the beginning, right? So today I got through this longest section of verse code that I've ever written and everything was working perfectly and I got to the very end and I got stumped a little bit on the in-game device because it requires an agent to access its method. So let me show you what I've got here. Essentially, I have a trigger in the scene and I had this trigger connected to the in-game device, as you'll see right here. It's connected and it looks like you'd think that if you triggered this trigger, it would make the in-game device go off, but it won't. This trigger with my verse code and then just simply link this up to that device, but it wouldn't work. So FYI on that. And then I have my verse device in the scene and it's paired with this trigger device and it's also paired with this in-game device or EGD, I guess you can call it. So if I go and look at the verse code, it's not very complicated, it's not that exciting, but it took a little while to figure this out. So make sure you have all your appropriate modules here. And then I have a reference to the trigger device and I have a reference to the in-game device. And these are both editable, and you saw that they're already paired up. And then we have our on begin play. So it's going to start with printing a string. My trigger, we're going to access this trigger just to show you that just this simple line of code will actually trigger the trigger device. And then I created this function, and I gave it the suspend specifier because I wanted it to go to sleep for five seconds so I could watch what's happening. And then these three lines of code here are essentially how we access an agent or our player in the game. Now, if we put this on a for loop, we could cycle through everyone in the game, but I know there's only one player in the game, so I can specify here in this array, just go ahead and the zero player. That's all there is to it. But these three lines of code are pretty much what you need to get your player. And then here we're accessing the my in device and then we activate it. And then we just pop in this reference variable there. And if we click here and I go to control, you'll see here where it says ends the game and it says activate, it requires an agent. So when we call this method in our verse code we have to send it a reference to an agent otherwise it won't work and you can't call this in-game device even without verse code with just a trigger it won't work it's interesting you know if if you trigger a trigger in verse code and then have that trigger call the in-game device it won't it won't work I'm assuming because it realizes there's no agent attached to it. That's the only thing I can figure. So anyway, I'll show you how this works. We'll go into here and I'll hit start game. And we should see a print string and the trigger triggers. So that's all working fine. And then just in five seconds, the game shuts off. And that's all there is to it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I will talk to you next time.